Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, I never planned to have this guy. He what, was going to go to a home. How, how'd she, you get him? Uh, I had this woman lined up to take him, and she canceled on me at the last minute. Just everything fell through. She said he was making too much noise. And I was like, fine. I figured, like, I don't know, six hours you're going to be asleep or something like that, right? Yeah. And then when I picked him up from her, I found out she had him in the kennel for like 20 hours. Oh my God. Like, why would you do that? That's like, that's not kennel trained. There's no oh dog gosh. that's been trained can do that, you know? And so, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. He, he wasn't happy when he got back. <laughs> He's a little bit nervous. Um, I will say, guys, if it looks like I'm struggling wording this, it's because I am. I'm trying to figure out the best way to say it. But oftentimes in animal rescue, when you are getting a dog, you're not getting the story that you're hearing. And after doing this for quite some time, I could tell you respectfully, that was a little bit sketchy and a little bit weird. And um, I don't know if you noticed, I just wanted to get the dog and get out of there. But I just had a weird feeling. I saw the crate in the back of the truck and it's raining. So obviously the dog was in the back of the pickup in the rain and the kennel in the back. Um, something, something was just off and uh, no offense, but he smells so bad. We're gonna give him a bath tomorrow and I'm just happy to be able to have rescued him and go home and give him. Oh, look at him. He's so sweet. Look at that baby. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. He just took the biggest dump back there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta pull over. It's okay. You gotta pull over, dude. Oh. All right. Pulling over. Oh my goodness. This is foul. Foul, foul. All right, buddy. No problem. All cleaned up. Let's go home. Back on the road. On the road again. That poo is gone. All right. So we are home. The dogs are very excited whenever I'm gone. Thank you, Loba. Whenever I'm gone for a little bit, they are uh, extremely hyper and um, overwhelmed with energy and hopefully joy. So I'm going to take them out and then let them release some energy. And then I'll introduce him to the pack. Come oh, on, So uh, I'm not going to introduce him tonight, and I'm not going to introduce him like this. He's uh, too stressed out and too overwhelmed. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until tomorrow. I'm going to let him have his own little private room tonight, and I'll introduce him slowly tomorrow. This time, I'm not going to do it the way that I usually do. He's uh, come on, bud. You can see. Come on. It's okay. You see, obviously, he's uh, way too stressed out. So um, I'm going to put the dogs away and then make him a little bed and everything and get him comfortable. And we'll do this tomorrow. There's no rush at all. All right. Don't worry about it, bud. You're okay. This dog, he is completely terrified, man. I knew something didn't. Something didn't seem right. Something just didn't seem right back there. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Here you go. You like being in the bed? You like being in the bed? It's yet better. It's yet better, sweetie. That's better. You like being in the bed. He likes it. He likes being in the bed. There's a bunch of boys. There's a good boy. You're not scared no more, huh? A little bit. <laughs> of course you're sleeping in the bed tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, big baby. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. You sleep with me. Come on. This is day two. I'm over here, bud. I'm over here, buddy. Sleeping in my bed solved all the problems, huh? That's right. That's right.
That's a happy boy. That's a happy boy.